Here we are in Durban Botanical Garden, December 21st. And it is considerably greener here than it was last time. We're now in almost the height of summer, so there's lots more leaves and flowers and things. So we're going to take a little tour of one of the, uh, the small gardens they have. Well, one of the areas they have reserved with lots of flowers planted in a nice little fountain. And there's Gulshan waving way, way over on the side. They can't zoom this camera very well, so she is. Marigold planted, bird bats. And they're just starting to water for the middle of the day here. We can see some fountains going. Look, Ocean's waving us to come along. I think I need to move quickly to keep from getting wet here. See if we make it. Maybe I should have brought the waterproof camera. You still videoing? Yes. Do I still look like a German player this <laughs> Which garden? We're going to the garden of the center. Ah. So why is this called the Garden of the Senses? Because you can hear, see, smell, touch. Oh. You huh. can, they have different plants, like you can see these are rubber. See the rubber plants? Huh. They're called rubber plants. And you can feel them, they're thick and they're hard and they're... Hmm. Oh, okay. And you get a sense of how plants can smell different and look different and feel different. Uh, okay. But Something. Mm -hmm. And taste different. And taste different. Because there's a chili. <laughs> and garlic. 